12. Got food. First time eating out since all this stuff started. Uh, Tammy texted me. I stayed over this morning, so I didn't get out till 11 o'clock. Just figured on getting plates for the dump trailer and the gooseneck trailer, but the DMV is not open. Next Tuesday, they will be open. You can do everything online. I don't do things online much. So I go to Crown Battery. There's batteries in the back there. I can't get my arm back there. For Bertha. And uh, Tammy texted me and said she wants Taco Bell. Can, can you bring Taco Bell home for, for lunch? I said, okay, we'll see what we can do. But anyway, so Casa Fiesta was open. Mexican restaurant there on Hayes Avenue. Good stuff. So I went in there and ordered her go-to, which she gets just about every time. And uh, actually that bag right there has got uh, two 32-ounce margaritas in it. House margaritas. And they are delicious. Delicious. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, coming into Helena right now, so that means it's about seven miles to home, eight miles to home, so it's officially the weekend, been a long week again. But uh, got a lot of stuff done, even though it was raining and we didn't get nothing planted. But getting a lot of stuff done around the house, working on equipment. A couple days I didn't do anything, just stretched out, took care of my taxes, got all that stuff thrown together and uh, sorted out. I think I worked on that for three days. Got to my sister so she can go through and get the final tallies she takes care of dad's stuff so yeah home eat some Mexican food drink a big old tall margarita probably lay down and take a nap for a couple hours and then go see what kind of trouble we can get into I know Eric's coming to get the bobcat and the uh gooseneck trailer tonight to move a freezer, a cooler from uh, the fire department for the red building to the fire station for our chicken barbecue this weekend. Yes, we are doing another one. Um, it was so well received and we felt bad because so many people, there was probably a hundred cars there in line that when we ran out of chicken they were still waiting so we bumped it up we were going to go 1500 we did 750 we we're going to bump it up to 15 or 1500 this week but we can't get chicken so we're doing we can do 1250 that's the chickens we can get so that's what we're going to do Sunday so Sunday morning will be probably a 4.30 morning. The only good thing is, is it's Memorial Day weekend, so I don't have to go to work Sunday night. I don't have to go in Monday morning, Monday night. Yes, but I have to go in early, 9.30, 9.24 actually. But that's okay. That's a triple time. So... Yeah. All right. Well, just tootling along at 57 mile an hour in the buggy. Had the sunroof open, but I figured that'd be a little bit loud noise wise. So I'm gonna get off here. I got three miles to turn. Three, two, mile and a half. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.
Here's just getting Good afternoon, everybody. It's it's C day with TT. <laughs> Tall Tammy. There's a story there, but this is kind of PG, so we won't go there. Thank you. Uh, uh, it is a little thin on top, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it's all right. Haircutting day. So, time to. Our quarantine is over. It's time to get rid of this stuff. My barber finally opened up. <laughs> all right, well, we'll give you maybe a sneak peek or something while it's going on. Friday afternoon. Quarter till five, by the way. May 22nd. Yes. Is there the right date, Max? Max? Max might want to live vacate, or he'll be next. Ooh, you ready for a haircut? <clears throat> no? I knew my hair was getting thin, but she's got to put her cheaters on to see it. Oh, now on. that's telling me it's really thin. Come on. I just want to make sure I save the ears. Oh, okay. I'll be quiet. Yeah. Do they move when I talk? Yes. Is it distracting? A little bit. How about that? <laughs> do they move when I do that? You're a goof. Okay. I'll be quiet. I trust you, honey. Well, you should. You've been doing this for how long? I don't know. On and off for 20 years. 15, 12. I've been out of school for 35. Okay. Okay. So 35. So the better half of 30. Huh. Yeah, this year's my, I think it's my 35th reunion. Something like that. I met her when she was in school. I was just a pup. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> it was. Come on, Max. You're gonna have to move, buddy. He says, "Sorry, I'll go stretch and go outside." We don't have a doggy door. No. It's going to be kind of hard for him to go outside and stretch. Unless... Well, you wanted him out of the way, so go let him out. He'll be out of your way then. I'm in the midst of something right at the present second. He can wait a moment. It's not like it's going to kill him. How many times has he got me up to go to the door to go out and it doesn't? Psych! Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Man, my eyes look like just like they feel. Buzzed? No, they won't open, no. That's because you're tired. Uh, he didn't want out, see? Well, he did, but then he changed his mind because nobody came fast enough. Uh, if you get him when he first walks up there, then he's gone. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll check back in a little bit. You know it's getting bad when you use your phone for a mirror. Looks good, honey. Awesome. A little long. Yeah, wait, yeah, wait, 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 whoa, whoa. I said one finger. You were complaining you said one finger and you thought I was cutting too much off. Uh, Remember? Okay. You were like, I only wanted one finger. No, I said I wanted one finger. Not two. Like you were. No, you were insinuating I was taking it short. No, no. Okay. Do you want me to All right. Eric's out here with the bobcat, getting it out. He's got to use the forks and go up to the fire station and move a cooler for the chicken cooking commencement going on tomorrow. And... Uh, Gonna take the bucket and go to his house and do some work with us there. It's full of horse shit.
I gotta get to spraying. Here's why I bought this trailer. Hydraulic dovetail. Yeah, the battery's getting bad. And I was just at Crown this morning. Hmm. Is that it? I don't think you can get her locked. You gotta unload this at the Gibsonburg? I gotta unload it four times. Four times? Down at the red barn, on at the red barn, off at the station, on at the station. So I guess. Well, I guess I'll go with you with my jumper cables. All right. I was just a crown battery this morning, too. Got batteries for Bertha. Forgot all about that one. Oh well. Looks like we're off on an adventure. Alright, I'll check in with you later. Alright. Oh, you can't see it. Let's turn this phone away. That's a little better. Wide angle? No, worse. All right, there we go. Beautiful sunset. It's a little after 10 o'clock at night, Friday night. Um, took care of a little fire department stuff. Other than that, didn't get much done. Got my hair cut. You seen that. So, uh, drank some beer, ate some pizza. Frozen pizzas fixed here in the oven. Need some light. So, excuse me. So yeah, it's been a long day. Got up at uh, two o'clock yesterday and got about. Well, I worked twelve, so I got out of work eleven o'clock and did some running around and stuff. And uh, I think I slept from about one to three, so I got two hours of sleep this afternoon. She's uh, a little after 10 tonight, so I think I'm going to go in and grab a couple more beers. I'm actually going to sack out my lazy boy and watch a little TV, catch the weather, and uh, see what's going on there. I got some ground to spray, and I'm not as... Not, it's wet, but I think I can get across it without sinking or picking too much up because of the cover crops that's in it how's that that's better so i don't know i might i might do a little bit of experimenting tomorrow morning i gotta get the 
I got to get scooter unhooked off the corn planter and get the 970 hook back on the corn planter. Move the monitor back over there and I need to get scooter hooked back up to the sprayer. So that, I, hey, there we go. There we go. Is there hair? Yes, there's hair. All right. Whew. She's making me worried there. All right. But anyway, no, I'm not worried about my hair. I know. I know my forehead's getting bigger. It's just how it's going to be. I shave my head every once in a while, too. So I actually shave this off every once in a while, too. <coughs> Got a great picture of the granddaughter. I did a, a, a fundraiser for St. Baldrick's. It's a fundraiser for uh, childhood cancer uh, research. And the thing of it was is you shaved your head. Well, I had the big old beard going on. So we shaved my head. And then, well, they didn't actually shave it. They used clippers on it but took it down the stubble. And then they did my beard too. And the granddaughter was there. And she was watching. And, and she was watching all the hair fall. And she wasn't paying attention to me. And then when she looked up, it was like. <laughs> and I have a great picture of me holding her. And she's going, who are you? But anyway, so, yeah. Don't be surprised if one of these days I showed up clean shaven with a mustache and a bald head. It could happen. I think I hear. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Over by dead body. Huh? <laughs> she don't like it when I shave my head or cut my beard off but yeah well she deals with it but anyway so that was Friday I did get batteries for Bertha I did not get them installed we actually used one of them on the gooseneck trailer to lift the neck up and down a few times up there at the fire station and then Eric was going home, and he was going to put a charger on it while he was using it, so they needed a battery. So they're both back in the bug in the garage, and uh, we will uh, tackle that tomorrow morning. Luke is bringing his truck out, the one that, the silver Chevy that we had in there the other a week or so ago, and we're going to attempt to get the leveling kit put on it. Hopefully that goes easier in that passenger side running board because that was a pain in the badinsky oh. but anyway just watching the watching the sky turn dark there's still a little bit of light out there a couple houses but Oh, now I'm in the light here. Okay, how's that? Ooh, shadow man. Okay, well. I'll see you tomorrow. Night, everybody.